Hello everyone and welcome to the inaugural Online Startup and Innovation Awards. My name is Jason Lim, I'm the Chief of Staff at YBF Ventures and the presenter of the People Building Businesses podcast. I'll be your host today and we have an incredible lineup of presenters as we celebrate innovation from all around the world. Before we kick things off, we're honored to have the Lord Mayor of Melbourne, Sally Cap, with us today to say a few things. Hello everyone, Sally Cap, Lord Mayor, City of Melbourne. Delighted to welcome you to this inaugural Online Startup and Innovation Awards. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land uh, on which we are gathered, the people of the Kulin Nation, and pay our respects to their elders past and present. We have some special guests here with us this evening. The US Consul General here in Melbourne, Michael Klein. Michael, lovely to see you. My fellow councillors, Dr. Jackie Watts, Phil Lelou and Kevin Louie, and other distinguished guests who have joined us for this special event, welcome. We are here tonight to celebrate and to acknowledge the amazing startups, scale-ups and global leaders who are innovating, challenging, collaborating and making a positive impact in the face of adversity. The COVID-19 virus is a global pandemic and we really are all in this together. Startup sector, like so many industries, has been severely impacted by COVID-19. But of course, disruption can also bring opportunities. And this is a time to be considering new possibilities and ways in which we can drive a, our recovery from the pandemic. Innovation will be critical to our city's economic revival. We will need to harness innovation to ensure Melbourne's economic recovery is as swift and strong as possible. The City of Melbourne is proud to support the inaugural Online Startup and Innovation Awards. Congratulations to everyone involved for making this happen in uh, more difficult circumstances. It is an opportunity to highlight the positive impact uh, that so many companies are achieving, uh, even in the face of adversity. I want to make sure that we congratulate Farley and Courtney Blackman, who are the team at YBF Ventures. YBF Ventures is a leading champion of all things great about Australia's innovation sector. You do wonderful things here in Melbourne and we are really proud of you. And it's admirable that even at a time when no doubt you are facing your own challenges as a business entity, you've still worked so hard to bring us all together tonight and make sure that we have a great sense of community, that we can feel inspired by what we're going to see and uh, that your thought leadership and your efforts uh, to produce tonight's event on time, this awards event, uh, is something that we really appreciate and we recognise. Thank you. Congratulations, of course, to all tonight's finalists. I wish you every success for the future. I will now hand over to Farley, CEO of YBF Ventures. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thanks to the Lord Mayor of Melbourne, Sally Cap, for getting things started. I'm Farley, and I'm the CEO of YBF. When we created these awards, we wanted them to be about positivity and to acknowledge innovation on a broad scale. COVID-19 has changed the world, and it is very important for the team to make these awards truly global. As a British American living in Australia, who has previously lived in Beijing, Delhi, Hong Kong, London, and throughout the US, I know how small the world is and how important it is to come together and celebrate all the good happening around us, especially during times of crisis. The applications and nominations that have come from all corners of the world are amazing. They include new projects, pivots, and business models that are addressing COVID-19. And it has been quite a task to narrow down to just four finalists for each category. Along with all the sponsors and partners, I want to thank you all for taking the time to apply for the awards. And I want to congratulate all the finalists and wish you luck as we start the ceremony. To you all, keep innovating. As mentioned by the Lord Mayor and Farley, the Online Startup and Innovation Awards were designed to shine a light on the startups, scale-ups, and global leaders innovating during the COVID-19 pandemic. Who is YBF Ventures, and why do we launch the awards? 
YB Ventures is Australia's original tech and innovation hub. We've been helping startups to scale, scale ups to succeed, and corporates to innovate since 2011. As leaders of innovation in the country, we want to celebrate and recognize ingenuity and to open it up to the world. We're going to keep the ceremony as brief as possible. Please visit the news section of our website to learn more details about the finalists. Before we announce the winners, the Online Startup and Innovation Awards would not have been possible without the support of some really fantastic and amazing sponsors and partners. A big thank you to Lander & Rogers, the City of Melbourne, the Victoria State Government's Digital Innovation Futures 2020, the UK Department for International Trade, Prosperity Advisors, Melbourne Connect, the University of Melbourne, Lucichart, Reich, OVH Cloud, the University of Tasmania, and Tyro. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's get on with the awards. Our very first category is Best Global Leader During a Crisis. And the finalists are Bill and Melinda Gates, Jacinda Arden, Jack Dorsey, and Mike Cannon Brooks. The US Consul General, Michael Klein, will be announcing the winner. Hi everybody, my name is Mike Klein. I'm the US Consul General based in Melbourne and I'm delighted to announce the winner of the best global leader during a crisis for the Online Startup and Innovation Awards. The winners are Seattle's own Bill and Melinda Gates. Congratulations. Bill and Melinda Gates have been astounding leaders throughout the pandemic so far. Thank you, Michael, for presenting the awards. And our next category is Best COVID-19 Social Impact. Now, our global leaders don't need any introduction, but if at any time you'd like to learn more about these finalists, please visit the news section of our website on YBFVentures.com. The finalists for COVID-19 Social Impact are Clipboard, Isobar Australia's Caremonger, Local Rain Check, and Smiling Mind. The CEO of Prosperity Advisors, Alan McEwen, will tell us which of our finalists have won the award. Hi, everyone. I'm Alan McEwen. CEO and founder of Prosperity Advisors, based in Sydney, Australia. I'm absolutely delighted to announce the winner of the best COVID-19 social impact for the Online Startup and Innovation Awards. Clipboard, congratulations and well done. Wow, thank you so much for this award. We are so honoured and privileged to be receiving it. Thank you, YB Adventure, and thank you, our Clipboard community, for voting for us. We are so humbled to be recognised among these other nominees who are doing great things for their industries. Thank you. Well done, Clipboard, and thank you, Alan. Our next category is Best Launch, IPO, or Capital Raise During a Crisis. And our finalists are... Aircard, Big Commerce. Canva, and Needlecalm. Presenting the next award is the CEO of Tyro, Robbie Cook. Hi, I'm Robbie Cook, the CEO of business bank Tyro. And today I'm pleased to be announcing the winner of the best launch IPO or capital raise during a crisis award. And the winner is Aircard, congratulations. Thank you so much for the award. We're really surprised by it. Um, thanks to everyone who voted and also shout out to all the other startups that are tackling really big, challenging problems. My name's Haddon Dixon and I'm the founder of Aircart. For a startup that's pretty terrible at prioritizing awards, we're really honored to have been recognized with this one. For those who don't know, Aircart is an on-demand grocery delivery platform, bringing fresh groceries and everyday essentials in as little as an hour. 
Unfortunately for millions of Australians, supermarket shopping is inconvenient, time consuming, and most recently, a health risk. We connect customers to approved personal shoppers who shop for and deliver orders. This is the most unique and novel approach in the market. It enables us to offer customers a full range of supermarkets and all the groceries and essentials they could ever want or need. It also means we're able to offer a new way for people to earn money shopping for and delivering groceries whenever they want, wherever they want. And lastly, it boosts retailer revenue by bringing their stores online and establishing an on-demand delivery network without any investment or setup costs. Aircart saves people time and effort so they can focus on more important things. Thanks again for the award. Um, it's a huge honour. We're really excited by the opportunity we have at Aircart to create something people not only want, but need. Cheers. Congratulations, Aircart, and thank you, Robbie. Remember to visit our website at www.ybfventures.com if you'd like to learn more about our finalists. Our next category is Best Australian Collaboration During a Crisis, and the finalists are Alkira Software and the State Library of Queensland for Anzac Stories, PwC Australia and Deputy for Rostering Report, Scale Investors in Collaboration with Female-Led Groups for Investing in Female-Led or Co-Led Startups, and Wise Hires. Professor Colin McLeod, the Executive Director at the Melbourne Entrepreneurial Centre at the University of Melbourne, will be telling us which of our finalists have won the award. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Colin McLeod. I'm from the University of Melbourne where I'm the Executive Director of the Melbourne Entrepreneurial Centre. Um, it's my great pleasure tonight to be able to announce the Best Australian Collaboration During a Crisis Award. What a timely award this is. Um, and I'm delighted to announce that the winner is Alkira Software and the State Library of Queensland. So congratulations to the winners. What? We won. Oh my gosh, thank you. Um, I'm genuinely shocked and surprised and so grateful. Thank you to everybody else in our category. We were up against some really, really solid players. So, um, and thanks as well to YBF and all of the other sponsors. This is a real honour and we're really grateful. Can't wait to celebrate and sing about it from the rooftops. Congratulations, Alkira Software and the State Library of Queensland. And thank you, Colin, for presenting the award. Our next category is Best International Collaboration During a Crisis. And our finalists are... The University of Melbourne from Australia and Arizona State University from the US for Journal of a Plague Year. Health and Patient Services from Australia and Medachievers in India for Digitology Health Tech. Apple and Google, both from the US for Exposure Notifications. And Toslab from South Korea and NEDAC from the United Arab Emirates for Jandy. Kate Erickson. Chief Program Officer at YBF and former PwC partner and Head of Disruption will tell us which of these finalists have won the award. Hi everyone, it's wonderful to be here with you tonight. My name is Kate Erickson and I'm YBF's newest team member here in Melbourne after working as an executive in Europe, Asia and the United States. I have the pleasure of announcing the winner of Best International Collaboration During a Crisis. And the winner is, are you ready? Digitology Health Tech by Health and Patient Services here in Australia and MedAchievers in India. Congratulations and well done. Hi, my name is Michael Koss and this is Dr. Harshvaran. And together we're running Digitology Health Tech we are putting remote monitoring devices into COVID uh, situations, helping people get home and also helping small hospitals connect to doctors and do remote monitoring. Our artificial intelligence overlay over the four parameter monitor 
um, helps provide smart alerts to the doctors and advise if a patient's vitals are starting to decline and they need to be escalated in care. Uh, together we've been here in lockdown in India um, since the pandemic began and have worked every day together to be able to get these solutions out into the market. Yeah, I'm very excited also to see us getting listed, you know, you know, every award, every everything has got value when you work hard and we are super excited to be part of it. Thank you so much organizers for listing us with you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations, Digitology Health Tech. And thank you, Kate. The next category is Best Agritech or Food Tech Project product or pivot. And our finalists are AgUnity, AgriSync, FarmWall, and Food Maven. Carl Sun, the CEO of Lucidchart, will be presenting the next award. Hi everyone, I'm Carl Sun, CEO of Lucid Software, joining you from America's Silicon Slopes in Salt Lake City, Utah. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. I'm here to announce the winner of the Best Agritech or Food Tech Project, Product, or Pivot Award. And the winner is AgUnity. Congratulations. I'd like to thank everyone who has supported our nomination by voting for AgUnity's AgUnity response in the Best Ag Tech Product or Pivot category. Especially like to thank YBF Ventures for organizing the competition and congratulations to all the other nominations for reaching the final and to all the other category winners. It has been a genuine pleasure to be involved in this challenge. Well done Ag Unity and thank you Carl. Our next award is Best Artificial Intelligence or Machine Learning Project, Product or Pivot. And our finalists are Bead, Benevolent AI, Elenium, and Soul Machines. Our Chief Marketing Officer and the Director of these awards, Courtney Blackman, will be announcing the winner today. Courtney, on to you. Hey there, I'm Courtney and I'm the CMO of YBF Ventures. I'm also the director of the Online Startup and Innovation Awards. First off, a big thanks to everyone who's gotten involved from around the world, from all the applicants, uh, to all of our partners. It's wonderful to have you on board. Uh, secondarily, I'm very excited to announce the winner of the best artificial intelligence or machine learning product, project, or pivot. And the winner is... Bead. Well done. Hey, that is really exciting. Thank you very much to everyone that supported us during, during our journey and also uh, shared their vo votes with us. And that's really exciting. I'm Soner from Beat. I'm the CEO and co-founder in Beat. And Beat is converting buildings into data sources in order to understand human behavior in those buildings and how indoor circumstances are affecting those occupancy patterns like heating, cooling, lighting levels, uh, but also recently architectural design because we are spending most of our times inside buildings. And right now, because of COVID, it is right now nearly uh, over over 90%. And that makes it much more important to understand how we use those buildings how and how that uh, usage trends affects uh, the whole operations starting from carbon emission into uh, expenses in uh, operating the buildings, but also moving to energy efficiency and space optimization. And uh, we are focused to make uh, those buildings a part of our daily life. And uh, we are also very excited uh, to be in Australian market as well and to develop and expand our reach uh, to different cities and countries uh, throughout Asia Pacific. And uh, Australia will be our top priority as well. So once again, thank you very much for everyone that supported us. And uh, we are really happy and excited to get uh, this award. Thank you very much. Our next category is Best Biotech or MedTech Project, Product or Pivot. And the finalists are DetectEd, EcoBlends, E-Steps, and Healthy. Dr. Kudzai Kanhutu, an infectious diseases physician, telehealth clinical lead, and deputy medical information officer at the Royal Melbourne Hospital will announce our winner. 
Hi everybody, I'm Kudzai Kanutu and I'm delighted to be announcing the winner for the best biotech or medtech project, project or pivot at the Online Startup and Innovation Awards. And the winner is Detected. Congratulations. Oh wow, uh, thank you so much. It was uh, such a, a pleasure to be uh, nominated for the YBF uh, Ventures uh, Online Startup and Innovation Awards and uh, yeah, it's just amazing that we've won. We want to uh, thank everyone that uh, voted for us um, and everyone who jumped online and went through the form and uh, yeah, the last the last six months for us have been uh, pretty crazy. We're a, a radiology education company that's based uh, completely online and we developed a tool for radiologists who are recognising uh, COVID-19 appearances in, in lung CT scans and um, recently got a grant from the Australian government to, to really try and drive this tool and, and push it further uh, worldwide. And um, yeah, it's just been been a really busy last six months. But again, yeah, just wanted to thank everyone uh, who put their votes in. And uh, yeah, thank you again to YBF for kind of supporting these awards and, and doing all the organisation. So thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers from the whole team at Detected X. Thanks. We're over halfway there. And remember, at any time, you can head over to the news section of the YBF website to learn more about the finalists. Our next category is Best Cybersecurity Project, Product, or Pivot. And the finalists are Cyber Aware, Cyber Volunteers, IPification, and Secure Vote. Cybersecurity Expert Dr. Amaru Maruatona from Iculus will be announcing our winner. Hi, everyone. My name is Omaru Maruatona, and I'm the CEO and founder of Oculus. I'm delighted to announce the winner for the best cybersecurity project, product, or pivot for the Online Startup and Innovation Awards. And the winner is Cyber Aware. Congratulations, Malta. Yes. Thank you from the team at Cyberware. We feel privileged to have won. Uh, in a very great competition. Thank you. Congratulations, CyberAware, and thank you, Omaru. Our next award is Best FinTech Project, Product, or Pivot. And the finalists are Virtual, DistiChain, Financial Mindfulness, and UpCover. We're delighted to have the CEO of Fintech Australia, Rebecca Scott Guppy, to announce the next winner. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca, the CEO of Fintech Australia, and I'm excited to announce the winner of the best Fintech project, product or pivot at the Online Startup and Innovation Awards. And the winner is... Virtual, congratulations, and thank you YBF for putting on such a great event. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt Vitale, co-founder of Virtual. We're an equity crowdfunding platform licensed to host offers under Australia's equity crowdfunding regime. Since 2018, we've helped over 50 businesses raise over $30 million online from their most passionate customers and fans. Equity crowdfunding has proven to be an extremely valuable and resilient source of capital for early stage businesses, even during escalation and the ongoing effects of the COVID pandemic. We're thrilled that the businesses have trusted us to help them with their cap raise and delighted to have been nominated for this award. Thanks very much and thank you to everyone that has made this possible. Great work, Virgil, and thank you, Rebecca. Next up, we have the best legal tech project, product, or pivot. And the finalists are Immediation, InfoTrack, Lara and Legal Vision. Australia's leading innovator in the legal tech space is here with us today to announce the winner. We have Genevieve Collins, Chief Executive Partner at Lander and Rogers. Genevieve, over to you. Hi everyone, I'm Genevieve Collins, Chief Executive Partner of Lander and Rogers Lawyers. I'm delighted to announce the winner of the best legal tech project, pilot or pivot for the online Startup and Innovation Awards. And the winner is 
a mediation. Congratulations. Thank you to YBF for that fantastic news. My name is Laura Keeley. I'm the Founder and Managing Director of Immediation, and it's a privilege to accept this award on behalf of my team. I'm also a barrister at the Victorian Bar, and I founded Immediation because I could see there was a desperate need to improve access to justice and to provide alternative out-of-court solutions to families and businesses. Congratulations, Immediation, and thank you, Genevieve. Our next category is Best Prop Tech Product, Project, or Pivot. And our finalists are Bricks and Agent, Connexi, Different, and XY Sense. The CEO of OBH Cloud, Michel Poulon, is with us from France to present the next award. Hello, I am Michel Poulon. I am the CEO of OBH Cloud. Um, it's great to be with you, and uh, I'm joining you from Paris uh, in France. I am delighted to announce the winner of the best prop tech project, product, and people for the Online Startup Innovation Awards. And the winner is Connexi. Congratulations. Uh, well, thank you so much. That was definitely unexpected. Um, we've had a whirlwind year at Connexi of growth and um, and sort of realizing a lot of dreams that we that have had a lot of years of hard work in the making. But uh, to top it off with this accolade from YBF Ventures, uh, we're extremely uh, proud to be even considered in the cohort of finalists. And um, and thank you so much, YBF, your partners, and everyone that voted. Well done, Connexi, and thank you, Michelle. Our next category is Best EduTech Project, Product, or Pivot. And our four finalists are Cognis, LearnMate, One Love Australia, and Talkie Play by Talkieware. The Honorable Jala Pulford, Minister for Employment, Innovation, Medical Research, Digital Economy, and Small Business for the State of Victoria and Australia is here to announce the next winner. Hi there, I'm Jala Pulford, Victorian Minister for Employment, Small Business and Innovation Medical Research in the Digital Economy. It's lovely to be with you. I am delighted to announce the winner of the Best Edutech Project, Product or Pivot for the Online Startup and Innovation Awards today. And the winner is... Talkie wear. Congratulations. Thank you. This is incredibly exciting. I, I would like to express my sincere thanks to every parent out there for supporting their child in their language development. This year hasn't been easy and you've kept going and I'd like to thank all of you. I'd like to thank my team for supporting those parents and for really stepping up in a time that wasn't easy for them either. Thank you to everybody to Kelly, to Rowan, to Catherine and Amanda, to Chris, to B, Vlad and Dave and Victoria. Thank you for making it happen. We did it. Well done, Talkieware, and thank you, Minister Pulford. Next up is the award for best COVID-19 wearables, and our finalists are AO Air Atmos, Fitbit, Nodal M1, and Skin. We have the CEO of Reich joining us from California to announce the next winner. Hello, everybody. I'm Andrew Filev, founder and CEO of Reich. I'm joining you here from beautiful San Jose, California. And it's my pleasure to announce today the winner of Best COVID-19 Wearables at Online Startup and Innovation Awards. And the winner is AO Air with their Atmos mask. Congratulations. Wow, guys, what a surprise. Thank you, Australia. We're so overwhelmed to win this award. Um, we're still on a journey to protect people from COVID um, with the best protection um, technology in the world. Um, it also can protect you from wildfire and air pollution. And we're super, super thankful to uh, um, be part of this journey and hope we can do it together. Thank you.
that wraps up the Online Startup and Innovation Awards. Another quick round of thank yous to our amazing sponsors and partners, Lander and Rogers, City of Melbourne, the Victoria State Government's Digital Innovation Futures 2020, the UK Department for International Trade, Prosperity Advisors, Melbourne Connect, the University of Melbourne, Lucichart, Reich, OVH Cloud, the University of Tasmania, and Tyro. We thank you all for helping us to celebrate and recognize innovation throughout the globe. Thank you to everyone for watching, and a big thank you to everyone who entered and nominated for the awards. Feel free to connect with us on social media and get in touch on your next trip to Melbourne and Sydney. We'd love to have you over when borders are open again and when it's safe to travel. Take care.